welcome back to my channel. My name is Chrissy and I am the owner of Sugar and Spice Glitter Co. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this beautiful purple Halloween batty leopard cup. I love how she turned out and I'm super excited to share with you guys the process on how we got this cup right here. Now, if you love this cup as much as I do and you would love the opportunity to win, then you definitely want to stay all the way to the end of the video so you can win this tumbler right here on YouTube. Now, before we dive into today's tutorial, I want to take the time to say a big thank you to all of the members in the Creators Club. If you guys don't know what the Creators Club is all about, then you definitely want to check out all the links in the description down below so you can find out details on what what the Creators Club is all about and how you can join on the first of every month. There are so many benefits to joining the Creators Club and I also have a designated video here on my channel as well as on Patreon. So definitely check that out. I will put a little card here for you guys to check out what the Creators Club is all about. But without further ado, let's give a big round of applause to all of the members of the Creators Club. Thank you guys so much. You don't know how much you all mean to me. I love and appreciate every single one of you. First thing we're gonna do is prep our tumbler. For this video, I'm using a 20 ounce skinny straight from Craft Haven Tumblers. If you look in the description down below, you will also find a discount code for you guys down there. So I'm taking this 220 sanding block and just making sure to sand the base of my cup really well so that we have a really nice prepped base for our spray paint. Once I'm done sanding my tumbler, I am going to just spray it down with 91% alcohol just to get rid of all that dust and debris. Once that is dried off, we are ready to spray paint the base of our tumbler. My spray paint of choice today is this Krylon Gloss Gumdrop. It's so pretty and I just love this color. Once the spray paint is all dry, I am going to be going in with the Tacket method for today's video. I'm just going to be putting a little bit of that Tacket glue into a cup and diluting it with a little bit of water. Now I do go in with one to one, so equal parts of both water and tack it over and over. Once I have that and mix it in really well, then we're going to go ahead and paint that onto the cup. The reason why I like to dilute my tack it over and over is I feel like it is a lot easier to burnish the glitter down when doing this instead of going straight in with just a tack it over and over. So once you have your mixture all ready to go, all you need to do right now is just take a paintbrush and paint your cup. So I'm just going to go in with one really good even coat of this tack it over and over. Um, I like to keep my coats of tack it just nice and thin and light so that it dries quickly and we can move on to the next step which is applying the glitter so you can see just how smooth this paintbrush is and i'm really trying my best to um, ensure that there aren't a lot of streaks and that it's a nice thin coat so once you have that layer of tack it over and over nice and dry we can go in and apply the glitter i am using rapunzel from our fairy tale collection which is one of my favorite collections that we have ever released on the website now unfortunately when this video goes live on youtube it will not be available on the website but still feel free to check out the website because we do have some other colors from our fairy tale collection available that are equally as beautiful so i am just going to sprinkle that color all over the cup make sure we have really good coverage and once that's done we can go ahead and start burnishing the glitter tap off that excess glitter and then take your finger and start rubbing that glitter down now you can do this with a bare hand or you can use it with gloves whatever you decide but look at how easily this glitter just flattens just using one of my fingers um, that is one of the reasons why i love to dilute my tacket over and over using water because i feel like it is so easy to do this part really don't struggle or have to use much pressure at all so i'm just taking my finger and rubbing all of that glitter down all around the entire cup till we get this very beautiful um, reflective finish of our glitter
So once I was done rubbing all of that glitter down, I decided I wanted to do a little bit of a smoke effect on this cup. Now I'm going straight in on top of that glitter. I didn't add any resin. I didn't seal. I didn't do any of that stuff. I took a candle. I lit it and I used my butter knife to kind of create some smoke from that flame. And I am just letting the cup turn while I add that um smoke so i really wanted to go in with just a little bit of smoke i didn't want to go too too heavy there um you may be able to see that smoke effect coming up on the cup but i do have a few shadows in this angle of the video so i apologize if you cannot tell um but i didn't really go too heavy i just wanted it to be very light with the smoke effect um and then once i'm done adding the smoke onto the cup uh we are gonna go in with a little bit of resin and some more accent glitter so now that i fast forward through the video a little bit more you can definitely see that smoke effect that is starting to show on the cup um, like i said earlier i definitely wanted to keep it a little bit light so it didn't look dirty or take away from the glitter that we just added but once i was happy with how it looked i went straight in with our resin so i am using the counterculture diy facet i whipped up about 15 mls which was way too much of, than what i really needed i probably went in with like 10 mls on this cup uh, put a nice even coat on here so i can sprinkle on some accent glitter for the accent glitter, I'm actually using a dot mix that we had available in our shop a long time ago. It's not available anymore. And I'm actually also using some really cool little bat shaped glitter um, that we also used to have available in the shop, but is actually not available right now. Um, I apologize for the glitter that I'm using in this video not being available on the website, um, but I will definitely try to make sure that all of my future videos i'll be using glitter that's actually available on the website so you guys can check it out um but yeah i'm sprinkling on this dot mix glitter which is called starlight it's a really beautiful blue purple and black mix um it's kind of like one of the dots are kind of like opal so in certain lights it looks blue in certain lights it looks purple um, i think it's really beautiful so I'm going to just lightly sprinkle that all over the cup and then I'm going to go in with these little tiny bat holographic bat shapes. I think they look super cute. I'm going to just take a few of those in between my fingers and kind of randomly sprinkle them around the cup as well. And then once I'm done sprinkling and I'm happy with the position of where the bats have landed, we're going to just go ahead and let that cure so that we can go over that with another coat of counterculture DIY facet. Don't forget to check the description down below so you can find links to all of the products that I'm using in today's video and also discount codes to all of the products that I'm using as well. We have discount codes to Counterculture DIY, discount codes to Craft Haven Tumblers, and you can also find the links to my website in the description as well. So once that layer of resin fully cured, I went in with the second coat of that counterculture facet. Again, I'm just putting a nice even coat all over the base of the cup. We're going to go ahead and let that cure and then we can move on to applying our decals. So before I actually apply the decals, I'm just inspecting the cup to make sure there aren't any areas of the cup that need to be sanded. And if there are any areas that need to be sanded, I will go ahead and do that in this step right now. Um, I'm also going to be focusing on cleaning off the top rim of my cup, removing any areas that there may be some excess resin, and I'm also going to sand the rim of my cup as well just to make sure that we have a nice exposed rim so for our next layer of resin has a, a clean area to adhere to. So I'm using the same sanding block that I used to prep the base of the cup. Want to make sure that we have a nice thin line of exposed stainless steel so that the resin has something to adhere to. Now we're going to move on to weeding the decal and designs that we have already cut out on my Cricut. So for this cup, I'm actually using designs by two different digital artists on Etsy. This first design that I'm using, which is the leopard bat mashup, is by digital designs by rk there will be a link to her shop in the description down below definitely check her out because i think this leopard 
bat print mashup is so cute and she has so many other digital designs for fall and for winter and christmas as well so cute definitely check her out again there will be a link in the description down below and the second artist that i'm going to be using on this cup is bear trends design now she is the one that i purchased the quote digital svg from i uploaded both of these designs into my Cricut design space and cut them out on my Cricut maker um, and then I'm weeding them out. The vinyl that I'm using in this video is tech wrap and I will have a link to them as well. So once I was done weeding the bat and leopard print design I went ahead and weeded out the SVG um quote and it says sweet spooky savage with some bats and webs and i just love how it looks and i thought it went so well with the bat and leopard print so once i went ahead and layered that up we're gonna apply it onto the cup i made sure to center it or applied it wherever i wanted to apply it smooth it out with my squeegee make sure there aren't any air bubbles under there and then we're gonna start applying the bat and leopard prints all around the cup So what I'm going to do now is just start randomly placing these spots and bats all around the cup. Some of the bats on this design are solid and some of them do have an offset. So I'm going to be using both styles of bats on this cup. Now the ones that have the offset, I'm going to be doing the bat with the opal and then we're going to be outlining that with the black um, vinyl as the offset. You're going to see here that I'm going to remove the center of one of these bats. I'm going to remove the solid bat from within the offset and just put it to the side so that I can save it if I want to use it for later. So now I'm going to use my transfer sheet to pick up some of the design from here and apply that offset bat to the opal bat that I've already placed on the tumbler. Then I'm just going to use what's remaining on the transfer sheet and just going to place them down on the cup randomly. Um, and I'm pretty much going to follow this type of pattern for the rest of the cup. i um, just going to keep going back and forth with the design that I have cut out and just place the spots and the bats randomly around the cup until I'm happy with how it looks. Because it's just a lot of the same process over and over again, I'm going to quickly fast forward through this part right here. Um, and just to show you guys quickly the entire application. And then that's pretty much it. Once we're done applying all of the design around the cup, we're going to go ahead and seal the design in using Countercultures Quick Coat. Unfortunately, I didn't record that part but it's super easy um, and if you wanted to use a quick seal spray you definitely can um, just to seal everything in so that when you apply your resin um, there aren't any dips or fish eyes or anything that happens with the holographic vinyl i feel like holographic vinyl can be a little bit finicky when it comes to resin so you definitely want to seal your cup before going in with the next step but before I go in with sealing my vinyl, I do like to wipe down the whole entire cup using 91% alcohol. I let that fully dry and then go in with sealing and then afterwards we apply the resin. So I fast forward through that part of the video to show you guys how I apply my resin and of course I'm using Countercultures DIY Facet. On the final final layer of this cup I will be using Countercultures DIY Regular Artist Resin because Facet is not recommended on the last layer. This cup only needed two coats to finish up completely and I really love how she turned out. If you guys enjoyed this video and you love how this cup turned out, then please give it a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I have also decided to give this tumbler away as a Halloween giveaway on my channel. So if you want details on how you can win, then keep on watching to the very end of this video to get all the details on how you can enter to win this tumbler. All right, guys, that is it for today's tutorial. And if you've made it this far, then you probably want details on how you can win this beauty right here. All you have to do is give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Share this video on your social media accounts, tagging us in the post, as well as using the hashtag sugar and spice. 
YouTube giveaway. Okay, do not forget that part because it's very important so I can make sure I can see that you actually shared the video. Once that is done, come back over here and comment down below with a purple heart so I know that you've completed all of the steps. So this video is going live on Friday, October 15th and the giveaway will close on Monday, October 18th. So you have the entire weekend to enter this giveaway. That way we have enough time to choose the winner and to ship this beauty out before Halloween arrives. So I hope you guys are excited. I can't wait to see who wins and don't forget to do all of the things that I've asked you to do in order to win this tumbler right here. Thank you guys so much again for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss all of our future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.